What's going on YouTube? It's your boy, Dio, aka Bonds Urban Tech Reviews. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to cut down on touch wig lag, lag, touch wig lag on your Note 7. You can also do this on your S7 Edge, your S7, and you know, various other Samsung devices. First thing you want to do is cut down your bloatware. You want to get rid of all your bloatware, so all of your Samsung apps that you don't use, all your carrier apps, your Verizon, your Sprint, AT&T, T-Mobile, whatever apps that they pre-installed that you don't use, get rid of them. Disable them. Get rid of them, especially Flipboard. I don't use Flipboard, so, you know what I mean? I disable Flipboard out the box. You know, straight out the box, I get rid of it. Now, I uh, previously did a video about how to disable bloatware, you know, because you can't really delete it. You just got to disable it. I did that video. I'll put the link up here, one of the little cards. You can click that, and uh, it'll show you how to do it. So, in this video, I'm just going to get into... Uh, one quick thing that you can do now this is what I have done go to my apps and you want to download an app and it's called hold on for a second let me make sure I find it it's called package disabler so you want to download that so go to your Google Play Store download that app then when you download that app open it up and then it says, please enable device administration to use packet disabler. This is the first time I've used it on my Note 7. I have it on my S7 Edge. I have not did it yet, you know, on this phone. So I'm about to do it right now. So I enabled the administration, administrator to, you know, make changes on the phone. So then, you know, it tells you, you know, what you have to do and the premium and all that stuff. And let's just go down to activate. So you activate it right now. It's getting there. It says, please wait for a license activation. Um, shouldn't take too long. Like I said, it's not a long process. You just got to really know what you're looking for and, uh, you know, what apps to disable. Uh, basically, this is saying that Knox offers a comprehensive uh, mobile security solution for business and personal use. All this other stuff. You know, you read this whenever you get a chance. Read it. Agree to the terms. Please wait for license activation. So that's what we're going to do. And uh, we see it's loading up the app info. Good, we in there. So when you get in there, uh, certain apps you just want to uh, get rid of or disable. Um, if you don't use that alarm clock, you know, you can disable it. It's up to you, like I said. But certain apps that you disable could stop, make other programs and stuff in your phone stop working. So that's why you just can't go and disable everything. You got to, you know, know what you're disabling. So, you know what I mean? It's not going to mess up anything else on your phone. Like I said, Amazon, Kindle, get rid of that. Don't use that. And you see it says it's disabled. Disable. Um... What else? What else? What else? Apps Edge. Use that. Um, like I said, it's, it's just small apps and stuff that just keeps running in your background. You know, stuff that you never really even notice or know. And it just be running in your backboard. Flip uh, your background. Flipboard. Uh, you know, disable that. Package disabled. That's what you want to do. Um, let's see what else we find. And like I said, be careful what you disable because it, it might cause another program to not uh, function properly. So you definitely want to make sure. I don't know what any of that means, so I don't touch none of that type of stuff. You know what I mean? As far as disabling it, usually, I mean, if you disable something on accident, you know, or you trying it out to see what happens. And it, you know, messes up more than you, what you really want to. You can just go back and unclick it. So it's not, you know, I mean, nothing big. It's not like it's going, you know, lock your phone up or something. Not that I know of. Now, you know, <laughs> do this at your own risk, of course. Um, so you got like everything in here, like all this stuff, favorite contacts, 
uh, FedEx, file manager, finder, um, Foursquare, like everything is in here. You know, uh, I'm really not a gamer, but I don't like cutting them off. If you're not going to use your VR, you know what I mean, or not ever planning on purchasing the VR, cut that off. Cut that off. Now I got a VR, so, and the kids use it, so I'm not going to cut that off right now. Um, I actually cut off Google Play one time, man, and it, like, I couldn't do nothing. I couldn't play no games or nothing, so definitely watch if you cut off Google Plays. I did Hangouts, too. But now that I live stream and stuff like that, I put Google, uh, I put Hangouts back. Um, like I said, it's really just apps that you don't use, like the internet. Now, see, I, I don't use this internet. I use uh, Chrome, Google Chrome. But I'm not sure if I disable this, will it mess up, you know, my me getting on the internet? So I'm not gonna do that right now. I might try it out later to see what that actually does and what it will actually disable and i still got apps in here that i don't really use too much that i gotta get rid of um they transferred over see nfl mobile i don't use nfl mobile so i get rid of nfl mobile i, I got espn so i get all my notifications all my my info and game stuff off of espn so no need for nfl mobile pinup i never really use it but I just don't know what it does, so I'm not going to disable it right now. It might be something i come back and do later. I never use that Google Photos. I should disable that. I'm not going to do it right now. Uh, let's see what else we get. Um, like I said, man, you never know how many apps this phone really have that you never really see. You know what I mean? Apps that just be running and you don't even uh, know it's running. You know, it just and you wonder why your phone, your device is slow, but it be stuff like that that you don't even know. So Slack radio, disable that. Never use that. Uh, milk music, I think that's milk music. I'm not gonna disable that because I don't know what that is. But that milk, milk, whatever that is, I never use that app. So I usually disable that one. But I don't see it on here either. So maybe they try to disguise it as something else. Even though it still has the same milk logo. Alright, we're coming up on the last of the apps. Horizon Location Agent. I might mess up your GPS and stuff like that. So not going to do that one. Verizon Navigator. See, they cut down on the new 7. They cut down... A lot of the regular, like, bloatware apps that they had, they cut down on them. Because, like, Verizon used to have, like, the Verizon app drawer or app, you know, folder would have, like, 8 to 10 Verizon apps itself. You know what I mean? Which is, is a lot. You know, so, yeah, that milk app ain't even there. Oh, I hit the wrong thing. Yeah, so, I mean, that's basically what you do. And uh, when you do that, you just click out, man, and you and you did that. Now, I, I recommend doing a restart, you know what I mean, so it gives everything time to cycle through and things like that. But that's how you get rid of uh, a lot of the uh, TouchWiz uh, lag. Also, with doing the, uh, the bloatware, getting rid of bloatware, that will help a lot. I'm telling you, a lot of this stuff, you might not even, you probably don't even notice it. But this doing stuff like this, it helps your phone. You know what I mean? But if you like this video, click that thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to the channel, you can do that easily by clicking on the little Android guy in the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. If you're not following me, all my social media sites, you're losing out. Don't cheat yourself. Treat yourself. Follow me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, Google+, Plus, Tumblr, and uh, definitely comment, rate, like, subscribe, uh, share all my videos and all that stuff. And uh, holla at your boy. Find me on the next one. We out.